My name is Dee Dee Tibbetts and I am a musicologist, a uh, music educator by um, degree and a musicologist by passion. And I love music and I love history. So I love musical historical instruments and I'm going to introduce you to one right now. This is a marxophone and the marxophone was invented somewhere around the late 1800s, early 1900s by a couple of brothers. They were the Marx brothers, no relation to Groucho. Um, they lived in the uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin area, as far as I can find out, and they um, repaired instruments for the Chicago Symphony. And then they decided that they wanted to make some instruments of their own, and so they started what they called the Marx Chime Company. And they made all sorts of instruments that were like the auto harp, automatic harp, easy ways to play a more difficult instrument. This is one of my favorites. And what happened is that they tuned these first set of strings to four different chords. In the key that I'm in, key of C, they have the C chord, the G chord, the F chord, and the D chord. And then they tuned these strings up here to a double scale so that it would be like a mandolin kind of an effect, so two strings for every note, two octaves. And then they got corset stay material and little lead hammers and they put them together. And this is not probably just for advertising, but it was also a buffer for the hammers when they came back and slapped. Um, backwards this way. And the cool thing about the marxophone is that you can play it the way it was intended to play and then you can play it my way. So here we go. I want to show you a little bit about uh, this would have come with it. They would have sent several of these cards along with the instrument. Usually they were sold door to door and they would be making contracts for one contract that I have personally for a ukulele is $4.50 down and $4.50 a month until the $35 was paid. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how else they would have sold them. Probably cash was good. Uh, but these cards would have come with the instruments, several of them. This one is Lullaby. Um, I'm not going, well, maybe I could play a little bit of it. And it tells you what string to play to get lullaby and good night, da 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 dum da da dum, they would have found instrument or songs from the day that were well known that people wanted to be able to play. And then what they would do is then they would take the um, the other side and tell you which chord they wanted you to play with that particular song. So they would insert this until they would get this lined up with until they would get this lined up with the chords and the, and the notes so that you would know exactly which one to start with. So, I am going to play a little bit of lullaby. It says chord number one. It happens to be a C chord if you're a musician. And you like a guitar. It's already tuned. They don't have to worry about any kind of a hand position. exactly which string to push down on and which chord to play. But it's Christmas time, so let's do a Christmas carol. I will do it the way they would have done it over a hundred years ago, and then I will show you how I would do it today. just be able to use both hands then playing some kind of harmony with both of my hands and this is how I would play it joy to the world
complicated of a left hand accompaniment. Merry Christmas.